If your car is only running on seven cylinders and you have eight, well, it's not going to run good. It'll still run, but it's not going to run like it should, like it was intended to run. And our bodies are the same exact way. So if something is off in your body, the whole body feels it, right? That's right. If you eat something that gives you heartburn, well, you're just, you're not comfortable. You're not running in top condition like you would like to be. And that's, that's kind of what I'm finding out. Uh, when I changed the way I eat and the things I do, gave up alcohol, I started running much better. It's like took took a big old can of Berman's and poured it down my throat. And then had my, you know, smoke flying out of my butt. But after it was all, the, after the smoke cleared, I feel much better. And it's getting better and better and better. I didn't get on YouTube to start harping on what I'm doing and changing my life. But you know what? People are watching like no other videos I've ever put out. I mean, the, the one I put out on my other channel about my weight loss. That's got almost 16,000 views. And it's getting and it's getting higher and higher and higher. There is a curiosity. People like seeing somebody be the guinea pig. Well, I'll be the guinea pig. I'm feeling good, so I will talk more about it. Uh, I've already covered the cost involved with switching to meat only diet, carnivore. I try to minimize that word because YouTube doesn't like that word. You know, they're tree eaters, I guess. And I, I don't know. I don't care what the kind of, you know, what goes in my body as long as it makes me feel good. And so far, I ain't never felt like this with the energy levels that I have. Um, kind of sucks that it's hot outside and I haven't been able to go out and do a lot of work, but just on working on my channel things like that i've just got so much more energy i'm taking less naps i haven't felt the need to take too many naps i do enjoy a good afternoon nap and there's nothing wrong with resting your body because i have not been sleeping eight hours at a time for years so i may sleep four hours and then take a two-hour nap later you know that's fine but I'm going to tell you, I got this new chair, and I didn't think, you guys will see this soon, I didn't think I would sleep in that thing, because it's, it's more narrow than the one I'm used to. But I did not realize how worn out my old recliner, well, it's Rooster's recliner now, she's enjoying that. I didn't realize how worn out it was. Uh, I actually had to take 2 by 4s and fix the back of it. I pushed it too hard one day and the whole back broke and the whole chair flipped over so i got in there with screw gun and some two by fours and fixed it i don't think it'll ever break again but it wasn't right and even though this chair is more narrow it's it's got to be more comfortable because i'm sleeping i'm not waking up and that's without taking sleeping pills or anything like that uh so that's made a difference, you guys. I'll, I'll, I'll have a few minute clip of uh, in one of my upcoming videos on the other channel. So I sleep in a recliner. I may go back to a bed after losing weight. I may find that I can now lay down and breathe properly. I couldn't do that before, and I, I accidentally fell asleep in my recliner one night, and I realized what a good night's sleep I had because of the position I was in. Now, I fell asleep in this office chair before. Uh, well, that was alcohol-induced. <laughs> but changing your diet, your diet, I think, is the number one thing that your body requires you, you know. You don't put the cheapest motor oil in your car and expect it to live long. You don't put the worst gas in. 
And it's the same with our bodies. If you put in the right things, um, you know, we, we kind of do come with an instruction manual. But I think over the years, that manual has been twisted and, and rewritten on what we're supposed to eat and what we're not supposed to eat. You walk in the grocery store. Here's a challenge for you. You walk in the grocery store and probably 98% of all the shelves, all the aisles, everything on them, in one way or another, is garbage. Is garbage. There's very few things anymore. Why do, why do you think 50 years ago there was little mom and pop grocery stores and they served us well all those years? That's all they needed. They didn't need an entire aisle of chips, an entire aisle of soft drinks, an entire aisle of cereal. And cereal, by the way, is probably one of the worst things a human being can consume, especially if you're adding sugar to it. Uh, a lot of people is going to disagree, and I'm not saying all cereals are bad, but you can live without them. Replace that with eggs, bacon. I know, I never would have guessed eating bacon was healthy, but it is. And even cooking in bacon grease, do not use vegetable oils. You can use olive oil. I don't, I'm not using it right now, but I did not throw it away. I will use olive oil again. But if you're going to use oil, olive oil is the one to use. But try frying things in bacon grease, man. Ooh, it's good for you. It is. I don't know. I'm just, you know, I'm 90, what, 96 days into this. And I don't, it's not miserable. You go to eat every day, you kind of look forward. Who wouldn't like eating a steak or eating a big thing of salmon or trout? And there's so many other things I can eat that I haven't even begun to, to try yet, like shrimp. Uh, I'm not a huge seafood fan. I, I do like peel and eat shrimp, but man, it's a pain in the butt sitting there peeling all them little dudes. And I know you can get it peeled. Boy, it's expensive. But if all you can afford is hot dogs and ground beef, you can eat it. And you can still lose weight. Now, hot dogs, you got to really watch... Uh, read the label because there's a lot of garbage in, in hot dogs. I feed it to my dogs. I probably And speaking of dogs, I am going to start easing them into carnivore. Yeah, I'll keep them on the dry, but I'm going to get rid of the canned food that I buy. Because there's no, there's no regulations on dog food. You don't know what they're putting in the pedigree cans or the old Roy. And both my older dogs are obese. And they, I owe them better than that. So I need to get them. It's going to cost me probably a little more. Maybe not a whole lot more. But I can cut them up some chicken. Some leaner meats. And get that fat off of them. So we're going to do that here in the future. Very, very soon. I need to, I need to research it a little more. They are older dogs. I don't want to shock their systems too much. But I, if it's doing this to me. What could it do for them? And and they are carnivores. Dogs are carnivores. They eat raw meat. It doesn't hurt them. Uh, now there are there are some guys out there, some doctors and stuff, saying that we can eat raw meat. I ain't went there yet, okay? Because here's the way I see it, and my father was telling me about this. You don't know how that meat was processed in some of these places. Um, they, he said he's seen them drop. He used to go into them places in the work line of work he did. He's seen them drop st stuff on the floor and put it right back in the vat. So that's, you could be dealing with contaminants that way. I'm not ready to eat raw meat. Uh, it just doesn't sound appetizing to me, but apparently you can. I guess if I was going to eat raw food, it would probably be ro oysters and which I've never tried. Never tried an oyster. They look like whale snot to me. But if you put the right things in your body, your body's going to react by feeling better. And you know, I just did a workout video on my other channel. First time I ever used that new gym contraption. Yeah, I kind of bumbled through it, but we, we figured it out. Go check that out after this. Uh, so I, as long as there's an interest, folks, 
I'm going to put it up here. Not every day. We're going to do the normal things I always did. Talk about, tell stories, do whatever on this channel. But I am occasionally going to slip it in. Because some of the things you guys... Just nobody's interested in some of the topics. I'm, I'm, you know, I go back and look at those podcasts. I'm like, what'd you talk about that for? But I'm just filling out what's, you know, what's getting the views, what ain't, what do you guys want to hear? I'm no expert on nothing, but I'm, I'm guinea pigging for you right now. Anyhow, we are going to, it, it's a rainy day today. I, my plans was to get out to that building and I don't have a, I'm cutting wood in the uh, carport and then shuttling it over there. I don't want to cut inside that building. I don't want to start getting sawdust because it's going to have my laser machines. The one will be here tomorrow, the other one. So we're going to get that going. So but on the other side of the building, I am going to set up a podcast area, a studio. Not a big area, just have a nice... I don't like this backdrop, okay? Let's make it look perfect. If we're going to do this, let's make it look cool. I'm, I'm thinking, uh, I've been looking at like fake stick-on brick wall, faux brick wall. They got all different kinds of that. I may just put cedar up. I got a lot of cedar. I may make a cedar wall back there. Get a couple neon signs and put some do's and some dads and some whatnots and what have you's up there. Make it look cool. I like them podcasts where they got the shiny, cool stuff in the background. Put a picture of a rooster up there. Yeah, maybe bring Lily and Waldo in. No, Waldo, he would have to put his two cents in. We can't do that. Dogs and podcasts, you know, they just don't go along. And if Baldo had a podcast, it'd be called a poo cast. That's what dogs, maybe he'll have his own podcast one day, but we're just not ready for that yet. The world is not ready for Waldo yet. All right, just a short one today. Probably not. Whenever I say that, I look at the end and it's 15, 20 minutes. So head on over to our channel, check that out. I don't know. Some people find boring stuff like working out and weed eating and mowing. Some people find that interesting. I know I watch them mowing channels, but I've made those mowing videos and they didn't do too great. So maybe I ain't doing it right. I like how they do. They speed it up and you can still hear them talking. You know, and they get the weed eater going. I ain't working that fast, I'll tell you that. Thanks for watching, guys. Happy trails.